So we're discussing the use of flashlights and lasers in, in airsoft or the non-use of lasers in airsoft, to be more accurate. The non-use of lasers. Um, well, yeah, that sums it up. You should not use lasers in airsoft. But they're cool. N no. No. They First and foremost, it, it can be dangerous. You shouldn't shine into people's eyes, right? Yeah. It Th that is, wh what do you mean? That's the main point. What's the other one? Well, that is, <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, the one why you shouldn't use it. It yes. can be dangerous for other people, especially if you have like overpowered laser from AliExpress. Um, the second one is that in my opinion, it's pretty useless. I'm not talking about NVG yet, okay. It's useless to have a laser. Point shooting. Why do you need a laser? Point shooting. Yeah, with NVG, fine, because not there is no NVG. other way sometimes because you cannot get it in front of the NVG. But laser, uh, point, what? Point shooting? W why would you do that? Aim. <laughs> because it's faster and you can look no, You can look away no. and know you're still You should point. never look away. You should always look where your rifle is pointing. No, you and if you need to look there, you usually should either You change. cannot say that. That's such a simplistic way to, to see it. Well, generally speaking, I mean, if you really need to, like, turn around and, and be like, hey, mate, what you're doing over there? Yeah, sure, okay, but generally speaking, you should be looking where your uh, rifle is pointing simply because if you look away and you see something over there, your rifle is not aiming over there. And if something happens where your rifle is pointing, you don't see it so that you can shoot I, th th there's so many scenarios where that doesn't apply. For example, you, you get into a position, you're holding an angle where you know some people, but then you need to check if you're actually exposed from next to you and you have to look and it's not worth it putting your rifle because you're probably going to look back. There's so many cases. And, and I, yeah, okay, you can play very well without lasers, but, but how does there laser is an help advantage you solve these problems? There is an advantage to laser. You're walking around and you cannot always be behind your, your red dots. And when you walk around, you can know that you're aiming at the good spot. Th there's a use for them. You cannot say no. No. <laughs> okay. Why do they exist? Why do they exist? <laughs> because NVGs no, mostly. No, they were invented before NVGs. People somehow think that a laser makes you more accurate. And it's, it's marketing. I mean, it's, if it's people not. buy it. Look, I put a laser on my rifle at some point. I'm not going to pretend like I didn't. But I very quickly realized it doesn't make any sense. Again, I'm still not talking about NVGs, okay? So just chill. It's it's not useful. One time we had this uh, we had this military guy in our team, and he told me, "Oh, I'm gonna put a laser on my rifle because then I can mark stuff. I can show you where I see something, which window." And I'm like, "Well, maybe. Let's see. I mean, that's the." That's literally the only reason I see, or I could potentially see, to use lasers for in airsoft without NVG. And I'm like, okay, well, he never showed me anything with that laser. And when he tried, I couldn't see shit. I just couldn't. So even then, I'm like, <laughs> sorry, it's just additional weight on your rifle. Yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna exercise, you know, you wanna make the rifle heavy, I should put laser on it, but. Okay, then let's go to NVGs. NVG, completely different story. You should have an IR laser. That, to the best of my knowledge, don't, don't get me wrong, I, I know nothing about this, is safe for your eyes because your eyes don't see it. Okay, so yeah. I think, I think, Th I don't know. That's, I was wondering because I, that was going to be my question because I don't, I don't know. know if IR lasers actually hurt you. Uh, Maybe you can try to Google that, no. but uh, since we can't really see them, I think they should be maybe fine <laughs> unless it's like overpowered <laughs> if you have like super powerful ir laser maybe uh, i have no idea oh yeah somebody is mentioning germany obviously in germany you are screwed either way because you cannot put anything on your rifle uh, i mean laser or a, or a flashlight even with the duct tape which is funny uh, we had this long discussion when we were actually in germany you can't even duct tape uh, um, anything that produces light to your uh, airsoft replica, <laughs> God forbid, even like a real firearm, that's uh, you go to jail and you never come back. So that's a funny story. Um, but oh. if it's just a dummy, sorry, if it's just a dummy, 
then you can put it on and apparently that should be fine as long as it pr it's permanently disabled yes. which means broken uh, you can use it to put your batteries inside but right now i was just reading online and apparently ir lasers are more dangerous really than because they're as they do as much damage and the thing is a real laser is going to make you blink whereas the ir one you won't blink ah okay so, so it's even more dangerous yeah. to use ir lasers in airsoft uh, I sh I well sh then it's stupid for airsoft but we were I, I, I was using them two weeks ago where it was allowed for the night game with the nvgs now understandably now not the best idea yeah or you know I mean, we, we didn't know right or you didn't know no, i didn't, I didn't know, know. Um, i didn't really i would have said care. no but uh, yeah I'm not an NVG owner. Uh, I used them before. I just don't think I have enough use to justify spending three to fifteen k uh, on NVG. Maybe even more. The range is insane. Like you can get some cheap uh, AliExpress NVG, and you can also get proper one for um, basically your house. You should take a mortgage to get it. So I never really even considered buying nvg um lasers oh lasers and <laughs> flashlights okay uh <laughs> flashlight <laughs> is uh uh having a flashlight is a really good idea you must it's a must have i think if you're playing not a must if you're have, in a forest it doesn't matter at all in broad daylight forest you at don't night need. in a forest is a good but idea to yeah have okay a flashlight. Yeah, obviously if you're at night that's a different subject but if you're it's playing a sunday game in a forest that's well illuminated yeah that's okay no yeah. issue if you're playing buildings super important it's super super important i wouldn't say super important but it's a really good idea and it improves the quality of your <coughs> bless you oh. blah, the quality of your game when you have a flashlight because most people don't and you are the guy who came prepared and you can actually shine some light into dark rooms or corners and let's face it, if it's a CQB, chances are there will be some dark rooms and corners. And yeah, flashlight, especially mounted to a rifle or a pistol, if it's not like a handheld, is a, is, is a great idea. And what I like the most is the Olight system. So Olight sent me some products privately and they have this cool, you push a button and you take it off. You put it in your pocket. Yes. And it's mounted to an M-Lock or Piccadini. Then you take it out of your pocket, you just slide it on there, and it clicks in place, and suddenly you have a rifle-mounted flashlight. Amazing. I would never put it on my real steel uh, rifle unless I don't have another choice, which I do under normal cir circumstances, because the uh, mechanism is not... I, I don't feel like it's secure enough uh, for real steel use. But that's a different story. For airsoft, albeit it, 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 it is a little bit more expensive, but it's very nice for airsoft. The system with the, you know, the high power. Yeah, to be able to remove it or not. Yeah. But generally speaking, flashlight and airsoft is amazing. And please, if you... But why is it amazing? The best thing about the flashlight, it's like a tracer. You're in somewhere that's slightly also, dark, yeah, you yeah. turn on the flashlight, you start shooting, and you're going to see every BB how it's flying. That's the best thing about it. Also, yeah, yeah. It's just, you don't have a tracer, use the flashlight. Yes. Um, do you Are you aware of any fields that would forbid yes. uh, to use flashlights? So I, I know about strobes. Strobes are mostly so forbidden. Remember Slovakia? But yeah. Well, the, the arena, the CQB arena in Bratislava? I don't yeah, know yeah, why yeah, it yeah, was, Wolfers but flashlights mm -hmm. were uh, forbidden. One who wonder. I don't know why, That's but weird. flashlight was forbidden. I didn't ask many questions because I didn't understand much uh, <laughs> what was being said, but flashlights were forbidden. Especially the area was quite dark, so it was it was uh, just something I don't understand. But if you're considering getting a flashlight, I g go get it because I it's super practical. There's so many scenarios where you can use it, and if you're playing with buildings and you have to look for objectives or there's dark rooms, yeah, yeah. it's a must-have. It's it's a good idea to have a flashlight. Uh, laser, any other points about lasers? Not really. I mean, it's dangerous for airsoft. Uh, how many people really have NVGs? Uh, I don't think many. So at least not for airsoft. Why would you even have a laser? Do you have any brand recommendations for pistol and flashlights? 
Olight. Olight is decent, decent price. Uh, I even have Olight on my on my real steel uh, pistol, and it's uh, just Actu fine. Did you see that from Olight, the grip pistol? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, the AFG, Olight like the angled foregrip. Angled. Grip. That's actually kind of cool. Um, show sure this. If you want to mount it on a rifle and you. Um, Sigurd, it's called. It's like two two things in one. I think this is a decent implementation. See, that's like that's like the scope switch. It's innovation. Yeah, I, I think it's cool that they they came. And you up know, with it's hundred dollars. Yeah. Like, of course, Olight is technically a real steel brand, um, but I think it's it's reasonably priced. But but with that said, I'm not sure if I would want to use this. Uh, so especially for those people who are on a budget, I wouldn't recommend like two in one, because you lose versatility, right? Yes. What I do, what I used to do, and what I still like to do, is to take my pistol flashlight Valkyrie from Olight and put it on a rifle, and then put it on a pistol. You can switch, yes. and it works just yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, you agree. put it on the top of the rail, and you can you can have it, and it works for pistol and a rifle, and even if you like, you have your. Glock or something in your holster, you don't have the budget to buy a dedicated pistol flashlight holster. Well, you don't have to. You just take this pistol flashlight, you either put it on your flashlight. rifle or in your pocket. What did I say? Flashlight. Flash <laughs> you <laughs> put it true. in your pocket. And if you need to use a pistol, okay, take the pistol from the holster, put it on the pistol. You p need to put it on the holster, okay, take it off, put it on your rifle or vice versa, or just leave it in your pocket until you need it. Pistol flashlight is the m cheapest way to to get the most u universal and package. And uh, for airsoft, is enough. And for airsoft, it's perfectly fine. In a fine. In ginormous field, and you need to see the other end. Yeah, okay, mm, but not the. They have like thousand or even more lumens these days. It's it's too much anyway. Yeah, if you if you, if you would talk like oh, real yeah. steel rifle, yeah, sure, you want maybe even a zooming function or like Actually, more hotspot. You don't need that. One you of my points that. about flashlight is that there's this psycho psychological effect that when you're being flashed at, you would think, "Oh, I'm being flashed at. I know exactly where the person is." That's it. It's not that. No, you important. are mostly disoriented, and you don't exactly know where the person is because he might be holding the flashlight like this. That's one of the techniques. Like, yeah. uh, if you if you shoot at me, I shoot. So, if you uh, in real still scenarios, some of the techniques are like you illuminate it like this. Like you extend your arm for the podcast listeners. You extend your arm to the side, and like you shine from here, and you actually shoot normally. That's because you want them to think you are over there and if they have a pistol or something they shoot actually at the light and they don't hit you um, so that's one of the techniques it's not really like a good technique i would probably not use it in a like real scenario but they teach it uh, i i saw that before um anyway sorry but i digress a little no, bit, you digress your a bit but it's, it's still in the same thing because like uh i, I was referring to psychological warfare when you're being flashed at, and because mm. I've been on both ends. I mean, I've used my flashlight, and I've seen it happen. And and me, when you don't see, so you, yeah, you see the light. You shoot in the general direction, but it doesn't go away. So you're aware that you're not hitting it, and you have no idea what's behind, like who's shooting, uh, what player it is, or stuff like that. And this kind of fear of the unknown it makes you a bit doubtful. It's like maybe it's a really good player. Uh, he's got the angle. He he's keeping the light on. He's confident. And usually when I see someone just flashing a light a lot on me and like my first few shots don't take him out, I say, okay, you know what? I'll pick another fight. I'll just go somewhere else in the field. I'm not going to, I'm not going to test it or risk mm. it. Like, yeah, it, 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 it's, and it's intimidating. It's, it, it can be, it can be sometimes. And w what we do, this brought me to another idea. Uh, what we do with my team is that when I have a flashlight, I just keep like shining the light. And since it blinds the opponent, opponent, it's like a portable concealment because he doesn't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my teammate usually goes around or moves to the next um, obstacle or what, whatever, and we use it as a, as portable concealment. That's uh, what what's describes it the best. And then my teammate shines the light. He gets the fire, but he's covered. And I can fo uh, advance from, let's say, the other side or something. So a flashlight combo, with uh, especially in a team, can actually be very, very powerful in a in a CQB scenario. Uh, 